Hey guys, it's Ethan here from the Military Auto Store. It's Lake and Eve Commissary Office, and today I'm going to be doing a video on this 2018 Harley Davidson Fat Boy, and I'm also going to be taking it out for a ride to see how it handles and performs. Now, the first look at the bike, you can see that it's a really nice, aggressive, muscly looking bike here as well. And at the front, you got these Fat Reach chrome handlebars, which look really good, really comfy, really stylish, do help for the looks of the bike. And they've got this really nice forward facing LED headlight here. It's really, really good for the nighttime rider. You're going to be able to see anything you want. And then it's got massive, huge, fat forks. And these forks have been upgraded for the 2018 models to really handle those corners really well. And then you've got a nice cast aluminium here wheel, which really adds to the muscly look there as well. But then the front actually has one of the biggest wheels offered by Harley Davidson from factory. It's 160 millimeters, which is massive for a front tire. It's huge. Down on the side here, you've got your nice all chromed out engine, which is the 114 Milwaukee 8 engine from Harley Davidson. 120 foot pounds of torque, but we'll go all through that when we're actually out on the ride. Then you've got your nice little foot. Um, footrest here as well which is really really comfy really good for your long rides up there as well you got a nice Harley Davidson logo here which looks really nice and retro as well you got a five gallon tank with this which gets 47 miles per gallon be doing really long rides with that tank because it's so big and you got your speedometer and everything on top of the tank there as well your exhausts all chrome as well two into two exhausts really really nice looking uh, really adds to the looks again and then you got a massive huge wide rear fender here and it's wide because you've got a really really wide 240 millimeter rear tire there which is one of the widest ones offered by Harley Davidson so it'll be interesting to see how that actually handles out on the roads but I'm pretty sure they've got it nailed down so that's the bike really really nice looking bike so let's actually get my gear on take it out for a ride and see how it handles all right so I've got my gear on let's get on the bike and let's take it for a ride so this seat is a 27 inch seat so from the ground up it's 27 inches really nice to climb over for someone like me about 510 get on no problem and because of how narrow it is at the front i can flat uh, flat foot my feet as well really really nicely and again this comes with a smart security system so what that means no key in my hand keys in my pocket flick that switch down the ignition will turn on so i don't have to put the key in anywhere and then here it will start the engine running when I press this button too. So there we go, engine's up and running as well. So I'm gonna take it out for a ride now, talk about how it performs and handles and everything. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we're out on the road now on this 2018 uh, Fat Boy, and uh, I've just ridden it off of base. First thing I noticed this bike is 700 pounds, so it doesn't surprise me that they call it fat, but honestly, you cannot feel that weight when you're on a bike feels really nimble really light you can feel how big the tires are but they don't feel like they don't lean so we'll have to find out how well it leans during the ride but 700 pounds still really easy to move so the seats so far have been really comfy as well most seats on the Harley Davidson are comfy um, I ride sport bikes so they're not as comfy so I feel like I'm sat on a nice luxury sofa when I'm on one of these so can't complain about the seat leaning it through that roundabout it's been fine I'm just going to let a little gap happen here and I'm going to give it a bit of throttle to see how it performs as well. So I'm going to go up into second gear, throttle on. Okay, so I got it, you got to hold on. It does have a lot of torque, it's got 120 foot pounds of torque. So I felt that definitely when I went, my, uh, I actually had to keep my feet planted because my foot was rising a little bit after I just done my shift. So it's got nice torque, a little bit of corners here as well, just lean it into them nicely and everything and it has a lot of power as well this is my first bike i've ridden that has these flat running boards here for your feet as well so i thought it'd be a little bit odd because i've never ever been uh, on a bike like that but it's comfy it's they're not vibrating my foot's nice and flat i feel like i can move them around so yeah i do like that a lot just gonna shift down to second here again and just give it a little bit of throttle again since this car is moving out the way and it goes through the gears as well. So it's a six speed transmission, this bike. So nice, nice gears for the long cruises you can do. And then for those long cruises, again, these uh, flat boards here for your feet, you're just gonna be comfortable during the ride. The, the, the boards, your seat, the bars, they all will make a great experience for a long ride. And then the seat, uh, the, and then the tank as well. It's a 47 miles per gallon tank, it's five gallons as well, so you're gonna have a lot of nice riding with all not as many stops needed to fuel up which is good 
So just gonna turn here, so it's gonna shift down. I'm gonna go into fourth gear actually, going 30 miles per hour, and if I get a throttle, it's still got torque. So torque in all gears, which is nice. And then there's a little corner here as well that I like to just lean it through to see how it handles, give it power on the way out as well. Again, power on the way out, it just handles it nicely. So you could do your nice highway rides on this, but you can also do your nice twisty rides on this bike without any issues. But when we get to the straight here, I'm just going to try how good the brakes are. So I'm going to start with the front brakes in a second here. So I'm going to give it some throttle. I'm going to get up to 60 miles per hour and I'm going to bring straight down to 40 there without being too hard on the brakes because there's cars behind me. But um, you know you can pull those brakes as hard as you want because this bike comes standard with ABS. So you know your wheels aren't going to lock up, you're not going to slide off the bike, which is really, really nice. Really ease of mind there for you. And then the indicators are self-canceling as well. So as I was saying before, the brakes are really nice. Got ABS front and back, so you know that when you hit on the brakes, you're not going to lock up your wheels, you're not going to slide out. So that's really nice as well. The controls on this bike, just like any other Harley, really nice standard controls, really easy to use. You don't need to look at them and use them. Your horn here and everything. High beams, your passing light, and then low beam as well. This one up here flicks through the computer here on your dash, so you can go through your miles, your, your range, and all that as well. The right side, you've got your hazard lights up there. Engine start, engine kill switch, and indicators right and left. So if I indicate right, it'll turn it on. And then when I pull back in, You'll notice that and it should turn them back off it's coming to a stop here and as i said before it's a 700 pound bike so we all know that's that's quite heavy but coming to a stop i can easily handle the weight i can get it on my feet like that without any issues they've really balanced the weight really well and then because i can flat foot my feet here it's no issue at all handling the weight the clutch on this bike is really good as well really easy to start you don't have to feather it or anything which is really nice as well and then with the brakes when i put my front brake on really hard again i said it's got abs but it will also detect if i need to add rear brake and it'll do it itself so if i slam on my front brake or my rear brake it'll balance the brakes out and push whatever brake needs push in to uh make the, bre the braking easier and stop you quicker as well which is a really nice feature on these bikes now i'm Riding along at 50 miles per hour in fourth gear, and there's no vibrations at all. So my feet, completely fine, completely still. I'm only wearing my Nike trainers down there. Um, so there's no like boots to stop the vibration, but I can't feel vibrations because of these running boards. And the same with the bars up here. I can't feel vibrations on the bars either. And then the seat, again, it's not vibrating. The seat is really, really comfortable. I do like it a lot. Definitely a lot comfier than my sport bike. But I'm in fourth gear, I'm going to go up to fifth here. And I'm going fifth gear, 40 miles per hour, handles it really nice. Then I'm going to give it throttle and it's got no torque. So I torque any gear, speed in any gear is really good. And I'm going to push my rear brake here from 40 miles per hour straight down to 30 there. The brakes are really good as well. So this is 2018 holidays in Fat Boy. And if you like the bike, you like what you've seen so far in the video, Come down to the comments office and see myself, Ethan, or my dad, Chris. And we'll get you out on a bike if you've got a license. Or we'll just show you around it and show you the potential of these bikes. So we're just pulling into the comments here and you can see my indicators flashing. I'm going to lean the bike in. It's going to detect that it's leaning. And it's going to detect that it's upright. And then the indicator turns off. It's really useful because you, as some of you guys may know if you ride bikes that you do forget to turn them off. And it can be a hazard sometimes. So it's just a cool feature that they've added on pretty much all the Harleys I believe so that's nice so we're just pulling up to the commerce office here now and the ride was nice comfortable bike no vibrations really powerful torque with the 114 engine it's an 1860 cc engine uh, 120 foot pounds of torque like I mentioned earlier so it's a powerful engine it gets 47 miles per gallon as well so it's a big engine very powerful engine but also very good on fuel as well so just gonna get off the bike here show you guys around it once more so that is the 2018 harley davidson fat boy and if you like the look of one 
Come down to the Lake and Commissary Office, see myself, Ethan, or my dad, Chris. We can show you around it, and if you've got a license, we can get you out on a ride.